Hi everyone, we're here at the headquarters of NHV in Vancouver and we have Patra with us. Patra is the founder of NHV and we also have Chaya. Yes, <laughs> Chaya. Chaya is a little grumpy, we've woken her up at 8am Pacific time. <laughs> <laughs> this is snooze time for Chaya. <laughs> All right, so uh, not many of you know, but Patra helps us with so many things that we send out to you guys in the forms of newsletters, blogs, or social media posts. She helps us um, collect advice that is going to help you. So we thought that uh, there's no better way of getting um, golden advice from someone except just bringing them right here to you live. And so we have Patra and she's going to help us understand how we can help pets with anxiety so we did ask you guys for questions and we had some of you send them to us over the last week and we're going to try and get to those questions later uh towards the end and if you have some questions yourself or if you have some situations that you want to discuss just start commenting just send those in and we'll try to get to them uh as we move on all right so Patra, let's get started um what do you think about anxiety in pets and what are probably the less known causes okay hi everyone super excited to be here today with you guys i hope everyone's having a great day i'm patra uh, founder of n3 and this is my little dog chaya who's a rescue um so good question jade on stress um, stress can be caused by a lot of different issues. Some of the less known causes would be grief, so losing a pet, uh, a companion pet that your pet has, um, being alone for long hours, illness is another issue um, that can create stress. Also, I think that with stress, uh, pets tend to pick up on our stress levels so we release a hormone called cortisol and they seem to pick up on that um, that hormone and they react to our stress levels I also think that today we do a lot of pet rescues and if you think about it um, pets that are being rescued have been abandoned they've been given up for whatever reason it may be so they're being transitioned from the first guardian they've ever known to this confined uh, setting at a rescue or then being moved to foster homes and then finding their forever homes. So all those transitions can create stress as well. That's correct. A lot of us are rescuing pets uh, from traumatic situations, so which makes it so important for us to help them transition and just help manage stress. And that that brings us to our next question, which is why is it important to manage stress? Like we know that as humans, we can, you know, do other things. We can meet other people, go out, but our pets probably depend on us. So which makes it important to manage stress. But Pat was going to tell us why is stress management important? Because releasing that hormone that you release when you are in a stressful situation mm -hmm. um, is not good for the body. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the key elements. It can um, skew your blood work when you take your pet to a wet. Mm -hmm. um, it can also do sometimes some permanent damage to them mm -hmm. uh, because they're continually releasing this stress mm -hmm. hormone mm -hmm. and it can affect their organs just like it does with us it can mm -hmm. affect how our immune system functions that's correct all of that um yeah so i would say those are some of the reasons, reasons why we should yeah, yeah be a bit more careful and think about how to help them manage the stressful situations that's correct and we often leave our pets alone for such long hours and we don't know what that. mischief that they're getting into of course that <laughs> secret life with pets but then also uh if they are stressing out and if it's just leading up to something bigger that we should you know help them with yeah and so i think it's important that when we do go out for those long hours 
to make sure that we keep them entertained somehow. That's correct. Uh, you know, turn the TV on, put a TV show. Um, on the radio. Put the radio on. Just make them feel like you're still there. And that always yeah. kind of yeah. takes that loneliness away. <laughs> All right. And what about the signs of stress, Patra? Like, do you think that... Uh, our pets tell us when they're stressed out or I wish they could <laughs> Jen. wouldn't that be the best thing ever if they could do that that would be um, nice if they could just come up and tell us I exactly. am stressed do something now <laughs> exactly so some signs for us to be aware of is that in cats um, they will tend to uh, pee outside their litter box right. that's one of the most um, known uh, signs I would say Mm -hmm. um, and that could be because they're not feeling well or they're feeling totally lonely. So um, mm -hmm. urinating outside the litter box, you have to be really careful about that mm -hmm. and pay some attention to it. Yes. Uh, diarrhea or constipation in cats, right. uh, excessive grooming. Right. Uh, they can become very, very vocal and we know how loud some of them can get when they're upset and stressed out. Right. Um, not wanting to eat their food, so, you know, just rejecting yeah. that. And then also going into this nesting position, so kind of wanting to hide out and just finding a quiet spot. Yeah. Um, with dogs, I would say you would see a lot of pacing, um, hey. shaking. <laughs> yawning. <laughs> yawning. I don't think yawning is stress, is it? Nah. Um, lots of uh, licking or chewing on themselves. Their body language, I mean, look at their ears. When they're stressed, their ears will just go down. Their tails will go under them. Right. When they're not stressed, they go out. We are ready <laughs> to fly. Like <laughs> <laughs> right. Shedding. Right, um, shedding is also so, a sign of stress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also marking their territory continuously, or even dogs peeing in the house. Um, right. And again, kind of hiding out, right? right? So things to kind of watch for. Right. All right. And that is actually one of the questions that a pet parent sent us mm -hmm. for you, which is that the, a cat has been chewing her fur out. Mm -hmm. And the vets have said that it's there is nothing wrong. So it's probably stress or boredom. So what do you think this person can do to help the cat? Well, why don't you start off by maybe putting on a TV show for her? Like, you know, the nature channels with birds and stuff cats love watching birds out a window so i'm sure if you turn the tv on that'll help make sure that you leave her a blanket out for them mm -hmm. um even throw one of your old t-shirts into their bed where they sleep because right. then they can sense you right and that will give a, a sense of comfort yes because they're smelling you right um you can also try using some uh, lavender essential oil on their bed which is very calming mm -hmm. so things like that um, give that a shot and also you can try one of our herbal supplements of, of course, course. Um, we've got metricum which is really good for that separation anxiety yes. um, and sometimes it just takes something little to um, help the nervous system settle itself down right. if you will and do you think that on the spot where uh, is she's itching, like mm -hmm. would the outer way spray help? Or? Yeah, the outer way spray will help or even a new cocoa fur care. Yes. That might be really good too because that's got a little bit of that lavender in it. Right. Um, and it's just, it'll also help with the fur and yeah, all so, of that. So yeah. it'll work as a bit of a multi-purpose there. That's correct. Awesome. Okay. And... Now, before we move on to our second question, if you were to give us just five tips of how to help a pet with anxiety, what would those five tips be? Like something that our pet parents watching us right now can probably just make a note of and do it ASAP. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, so I think just like with humans, exercise is super important, mm -hmm. be it a cat or a dog. So playing with them, taking mm -hmm. them for nice walks um, outside, it's bonding time. Take right. a ball, take a frisbee, throw it around, have some fun with them. 
and then they'll connect. They'll right. feel like this is really fun, makes you feel happy, right? Like we go for a good long run or a walk, we come back and we feel super energized and happy. With cats, you can just get one of those cat toys, you know, with the uh, feathers and just make them jump up and down and play. That'll be really fun for them. Um, cuddling, talking to them, just petting them, right? Just nuzzling with them, right, Taya? <laughs> um, safe zones. So, um, you know, during fireworks times and stuff like that, the pets can really react badly. Mm -hmm. And they'll find being like porcelain will help uh, so a bathtub, which is made out of porcelain, mm -hmm. will help keep the noise out and protect them. Right. So throw a blanket in there, let them go in there, close the bathroom door for them. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll be a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lot of high quality essential oils out there that are very calming. So like I said before, um, lavender oil is fantastic, chamomile. These are very safe oils to use, but don't put it directly on your pet. Please, please don't ever do that. Mm -hmm. These things should be used on their bedding, mm -hmm. on their blankets, anything that they nuzzle into, mm -hmm. or even on yourself. If you put mm -hmm. a drop on you and then hold them and cuddle them, mm -hmm. uh, you feel relaxed and they'll feel relaxed. Mm -hmm. um, toys, like taking for a dog, those Kongs that you can fill with, treats and peanut butter letting like them puzzles. just yes letting them play with things that keep their brain active That's there's good. a lot of laser toys as well out there that they can use and play and keep active um and then of course you know i'm a huge proponent of natural mm -hmm. uh, herbal supplements so we've got stuff like uh, our metric calm and our less stress um so Metricom's great for cats. Less stress is really good for dogs. And both will help with separation anxiety and stress. Mm -hmm. It's probably something that we should remember as the mm, neighborhoods have already started their fireworks. Yes. <laughs> um, right, and that actually really brings us to our next question, which we have from a dog parent. Who says that what about nighttime restlessness like if there is a dog who really acts out in the night what can they do to help well i would suggest maybe using our less stress of metric calm mm -hmm. um, you can increase the dosage for the nighttime treatment mm -hmm. um, that'll help calm their nervous system down mm -hmm. and will make them feel relaxed mm -hmm. now these supplements are not cures of any type so they do take some time to work mm -hmm. so be patient with it be patient with your pet mm -hmm. don't stress don't stress yourself out mm -hmm. um, and also try again the putting a little bit of lavender oil on their blankie mm -hmm. before bedtime and stuff like that and maybe like longer walk or yeah like nighttime walks are fantastic right, right? like right. take them for that good walk give them their Less stress, metric calm, yeah. put a drop of oil. Yeah. Kiss them good night. <laughs> tuck them in. And there is, of course, that one golden tip that Patra often shares with us that is uh, don't stress out yourself. Like, we sometimes have pet parents who are like uh, telling us that they're unable to give the medications to their pets because the pet is running away. It's usually with cats, but it's a lot to do with how you are handling the situation if we are stressed our pets will get stressed right? absolutely because they're picking up on our cortisol levels exactly. right so make sure that you stay calm um, your pet stays calm that way too mm -hmm. and also you know illness is another thing that can create stress That's correct. Um, so when your pet is not well they're unable to tell us that they're not well and they tend to again release stress hormones so really important to try and um, uh, stay calm be collected so take five minutes before you start dealing with your pet if you're going to give them any medication for yourself so step out do some deep breathing just get yourself settled and then you'll find that it'll be so much easier right to and deal with your pet yeah so and just start calm. off by cuddling them a little bit right uh, making them feel comfortable just making it more positive and like 
Chai is roaming around here and not. Chai, come on. Come on, Chai, see. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm go. <laughs> okay. Um, that is everything for now. Thank you so much, everyone, who is sending us little hearts. <laughs> um, all right. And before we leave, just one final message, guys. Don't take your pets along for the fireworks. Absolutely. I know it's fireworks season. Fourth of July is coming. Happy Fourth of July. I know we've got a week to go. Um, but I hope everybody has a great time. But keep your pets safe, please. Make sure that you keep them indoors. Draw your blinds or uh, your drapes down. Uh, make sure the windows doors are closed. Um, so that they feel safe because that that loud noise is just going to trigger them off and it's not necessary yeah. so keep them safe keep them happy use our metric calm on your cats use our less stress on your dogs <laughs> <laughs> and just send us messages so that we can help you uh we're always here to give you customized advice according to your situation your energy pet experts there are lots of us here and we're all working closely with Patra and our veterinarians to help your pets. So just send in your messages and stay in touch with us. And thank you, um, Katie, and thank you, Julie, and everyone who's with us right now. Um, have a lovely Wednesday and this is NHV signing off. Thank you, everybody. Um, <laughs> thanks for taking the time to join us. And Look forward to sharing some other tips with you soon. Yes. Bye. Awesome. Bye. Try to say bye. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. Oh, we've actually done a blog on rat terriers. If you want to see why Chaya is not, um, what is not working along with us right now, because that's how she's supposed to be. And if you want to check out that blog, <laughs> it's right on our website. <laughs> All right. Bye. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Bye. Bye.